last summer, uh, we did shows down at Comic-Con. Yes. And uh, I actually hosted a panel at Comic-Con. Right. You know, and you came out for the panel, giant audience. Mm -hmm. And at one point, you said, I don't have any water. Uh, and you were, I think you were just asking, does anyone have any water? And I offered you mine. You right. had a look of horror <laughs> when I offered you my water that cut me to the core, Charlie. <laughs> what the hell was going on there? Would you think I'm some kind of slobbering monster? What's going on? I, I try to keep it clean. It wasn't an unopened bottle of water. I think right. that's an important point. Right. It was, there you, was... You thought I was, might have been putting something in there. No, I just thought maybe you dr had a drink out of it. Uh-huh. I've got a little bit of germophobia. Oh, you're a germaphobe. I try to keep it clean. Okay, okay. You know, don't it's... have herpes, don't want herpes. Not saying... <laughs> definitely not saying that you have herpes. Right. My, que my question is, how did you know? <laughs> yeah. Andy! Listen, everyone calls you Cold Sores O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> That's been going on for years. Man, you're good. Uh, no, I do not have herpes. <laughs> well, good. We can have a little makeout later then. Oh, good, yeah. Let's have that be the lead line for tonight's show. <laughs> it's Conan without herpes. Uh, <laughs> is this been a problem? Like, okay, in your line of work, uh, good-looking leading man like you, you've got to do a lot of kissing scenes. I know. And you how, do you, think, how do you handle that? You would think that would be the best part of the job, right? Yeah. No, I wake up in cold sweats that day. Listen, I just, I don't want to kiss anyone but my girlfriend. I don't know where this started in my life, but... Well, actually, I do, but it's a long story. But, yeah, over the years, I have... Uh, I feel like I'm your therapist. I know, I do, too. <laughs> and I feel it would be... I'd be remiss. a very awkward start. No, 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 this is good for I us. I just don't know where it's going to lead. Okay, this is... All, everything you've said is perfect. I think we should explore where this begins, <laughs> because clearly you don't want to talk about it, and that's my cue to say, where does this come from in your childhood? Well, all I'm going to tell you is that if I ever write a biography, it will be called Blood, Dog Shit, and the Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> well, now I'm more confused than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I am too. So Welcome to my life. So you're just, you've always been afraid of, of germs, is that it? Yeah, yeah. And what there, happened? There Did something happen in your childhood? There was a parasite in dog poo in the area of England that I grew up that, as improbable as this is, if ingested, would turn you blind. Right. And so there was a lot of talk around this in my... Your, your eyes twitching, I understand. Well, how just do, because... How do you think I felt as an eight-year-old? There's a real easy way around that one. Right. <laughs> sure. This dog shit's real good. <laughs> you might want to go easy on it. There's a right. parasite. Sure. <laughs> At the same time, HIV... Yeah, okay. ...also getting some tutorials yes. about that in sure. school. Sure, that's more Those two things yeah. colliding... And it gave you a little bit of a phobia about germophobia. Sure.